instead of throwing the plastic bottles and cans into the bin, we can take them to a return and earn facility. As well as stopping these items from going to landfill, you will receive 10 cents per item that you return. This money can go into your account or can be donated to a charity of your choice. Inside, each item is sorted into its own bin. Once the bins are full, they are taken to a recycling plant and, and are made into new products to be filled and go back to the consumer. Since launching in 2017, the Return and Earn scheme has collected over 2 billion containers and has helped to reduce drink container litter across the state. Of course, if you are out and about, you can help reduce litter by picking up rubbish and placing it into a nearby bin. Turning off lights and powerpoints when not in use can help reduce your energy consumption. Did you know that powerpoints that are left on keep drawing energy? If you think this won't add up to much, think again. According to Energy Australia, standby power is responsible for 10% of your power. If you haven't already upgraded your home with LED lights, now is the time. LED lights use less energy, which means they demand less from power plants. This is a great way to help create a sustainable environment. Did you know that around 20% of contents from an average household we live in contains food waste that could be composted? In Australia, an estimate of $5.3 billion of food is discarded each year, equal to 20% of purchased food, making it the most wasted product in Australian households. Composting is easy at home. If you don't have your own compost bin outside, then you can start off small with a 2 litre plastic bottle. Your household scraps can consist of eggshells, banana peels, tea bags, but definitely not meat. To start off your project, you should start by cutting off the head of the bottle. Start off by poking a few holes in your bottle, then putting it into your container. Then, start by filling all your items into the bottle. First, the dirt. Then the leaves. Then the paper. Then you want to pour a little bit of water to just dampen it. Then, start putting your household scraps into the compost. Then, you can put your compost in a sunny position in your house. Also, you can put your top of the bottle on top and use it as a funnel when you pour your water in every day. You can also give it a little bit of a stir. As the days go on, your compost should form bacteria. When all of your compost has decomposed, then you can put it into your garden and use it for compost. Using plastic packaging. Getting rid of plastic packaging is the hardest thing to do, but there are a few small steps that you can take to help. Instead of buying pre-packaged products, you can start by making your own snacks, like muffins. You can use reusable covers for sandwiches instead of plastic wrap or foil. You can eat fruit that has its own biodegradable wrapping, like this banana. 
use stainless steel drink bottles instead of plastic and choose different options like bamboo utensils or regular cutlery. Just a little bit of thought when packing lunches will help our planet in the long run. Now more than ever, we need to love water. It's the little things we do in our homes and gardens that can make a big difference. Did you know that if we all shortened our shower by only one minute, we could save our region four million liters of water in a single day. When running a bath, keep it shallow and you can save up to 75 to 150 liters a time. Dual flush toilets are a great way to save water. Only use full flush when you need to. A leaky toilet can waste up to 200 litres of water per day. Dishwashers are the highest consumers of water in the kitchen. If you're looking to purchase a new dishwasher, check the water efficiency beforehand or look out for wells, water efficiency, labelling and standards. A high volts rated washing machine is a great way to save water. To save both water and energy, always run your washing machine on a full load. I took this simple test online through the Hunter Region website. After answering some simple questions, I found out that my house is actually using less water than the average household. If you follow these simple steps, you will save money and help save the planet by building a more eco-sustainable environment. Thanks for watching!